Hey guys, Jeff Wald here, and figured I'd do a quick video. I've mentioned this before, or I've typed it, that um, the last several months I've been re reworking the mic placement and the raw sounds that were coming into the now this. Um, I've got the old stuff that I used to have it all go to. It's up here. Matter of fact, I probably will sell it someday. The Digimax D8 and the 1818 BSL. So, but anyway, upgraded. Upgraded the speakers to the KRK V8s. These things are serious. That's my ones I've had forever. As I rearranged the room, uh, this is just a 55 inch TV that I had for watching stuff. And I was like, you know what? If I put this on a stand, I can have a pretty, <laughs> since I'm older now and can't see crap, um, got a pretty good visual of everything. So, still need a computer desk. That's going to happen. Going to build one. Um, but this is kind of the setup I've got right now. And of course, the most important, I have my Darth Vader. Yes, it's a Darth Vader. But anyway, um, figured I would do a quick demonstration of what the raw sounds on this sound like because I've been working on mic placement and um, levels and definitely mic placement on these things because if you saw one of my videos, I had them for over a year facing there. No wonder this was such a live sound because this is a live room, but I didn't think it was that live. Um, so anyway, I figured I would just do a couple demonstration things and just let you hear and then probably throw the effects on it. Um, and I'm not doing much effects wise, by the way. I'm doing EQ, like let me turn it all on. There's nothing recorded at the moment. But mainly EQ, I've learned about compression. You can kind of see here how I've got it all. I've got everything that's probably too fast but everything's color coordinated oh so effects wise you can kind of see like this is the kick drum and i can't tell if this is really doing it or not i think it is but i've got the ssl channel e channel on here about the waves thing and just you know i'll just tweak stuff within that and i've got stuff like that on everything uh right now i'm using the ssl eq for like you can see the toms and everything uh, pretty much have them all dialed in and anyway so here's a quick demonstration I will do before and after I guess I'm not sure I'm still learning this video stuff I did get some GoPros I'll show you those while I'm just showing stuff around oh actually one thing really cool if you can see this I don't know if... anyway it's a cube with Neil um, turn that off so you can see that but Basically, Neil and his different drum kits. My friend Scott uh, Whalen, he did an awesome job at it. You probably can't tell this, and this is more than what I was planning on doing, but this is really cool. It's just got a little light in there. There's, that's the car kit. But anyway, let me get back to what I'm doing. I'm getting distracted here. So um, while I'm distracted, here's another thing I haven't figured out yet. It's this ATEM, I think is what you call it. Um, but got the GoPros. Turn that back on. If you can see that, that's kind of the angle I'm doing over here. Another one over there. Yes, this is the snare rack that was across from me for a while. And I'll do something on that sometime also. So anyway, demonstration of the sounds. <laughs> 